Well, you made it this far. You're now a king or queen of auto texting. This episode, we're going to talk about how to create your own auto text. There's three main types of auto texting. Text-based auto texts, which are phrases that you'll be using over and over again. Like, for example, this one, no anticipate issues this weekend. Secondly, there are dynamic auto texts, such as current medications. In this example, we'll pick medications inpatients, and these are current medications for this inpatient. Or lastly, there are drop list auto texts, such as examinations that you might want to do. They call these drop lists, and you can see that they give you multiple choice. And this can make your documentation a lot quicker. So let's move ahead and see how we do this on this episode of Sooner Hacks. As you probably know, the way you access these auto texts are by punctuation. So to access the Cerner default ones, you go comma, comma. And that again brings you all the Cerner based content that you can pull in. I would suggest that if you're doing your own auto text, that you're not using comma, comma as it'll be interspersed alphabetically within all of Cerner's default auto texts. So the way I've avoided this issue is by placing an extra comma. So now I have comma, 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 and now you can see that it jumps ahead of all of the Cerner default ones. And if you've noticed, I've also numbered them. So the more common ones will be up listed towards the top of my menu. And then you're not allowed spaces, so I've put an underscore between my abbreviations. So that's a quick rundown with auto texting nomenclature. Of course, Cerner will allow you to use any punctuation. For example, rather than comma, comma, we can use period, period. So if I do have a lot of auto text, this would just allow me to split up auto texting into separate categories, and I just have to remember which one does what. So for me, comma, comma, comma brings in my most common ones. My more infrequent ones are as period, period. So you can make your own combination like period, comma, or comma, period, whatever you choose. So let's get started on creating auto text. So within every text box, you can see this icon here that says Manage Auto Text. You can click on any of one of these to make your own. It really doesn't matter which. So clicking on this Manage Auto Text button brings in a box called Manage Auto Text. Here is where we can create our own auto text. Our first one's going to be a text-based auto text, so we'll go click New Phrase. Now we talked about nomenclature, so in this case we're going to put in three commas, and then we'll call this O1 because we'll be using this the most often underscore, and we're going to create a phrase for a stable patient for the weekend. Stable underscore patient. And then description, you can put anything you want. Patient stable. Down here we will say patient will not be seen on the weekend. Please page me if any issues arise. So I want this in bold. That's so all we have to do, and we can change the format by highlighting the text, going bold, and I want this in red. So we'll save it. And so now we see our first auto text, which is triple comma zero one stable patient, and this is the auto text phrase that will be seen. So let's go back out of here. So now when we do our triple comma, we will see zero one stable patient, and we click that. That pulls in the phrase that we wanted. Now we're going to talk about dynamic auto texting. What do we mean by that? We're going to bring this one again, and again we're going to make a new phrase. This will be triple comma, zero two, underscore, current meds. We'll write that as current meds here. What this will be is a dynamic auto text. And what do we mean by the dynamic auto text? So we're in this field here, we will click on Insert Templates and Tokens. And within Serter, there are what they call Smart Templates and Data Tokens. A smart Templates anywhere where they're going to pull in data that is dynamic. For example, things like lab work, medications, vital signs. These things change all the time and they'll pull in the most recent. So within the search field, we can pull in items that we know Cerner may have, such as medications. And what Cerner will do, it'll pull an example of what current medications this patient is on. You can scroll down to see if there's another medication list that might be more appropriate for you. And this is a bit of trial and error. You can tell that these are text templates and these are smart templates. So you can also order, organize these by type. So these are all data tokens up here. We want the smart templates. So we can go scroll through here. 
and see if there's any ones that might be better for us to insert. So let's say we like that one. So now Cerner inc includes this as a BC meds list ST. It pulls in the medication list that you just saw. We'll save this. And now we can see on the abbreviated menu is 02 current meds. So let's see what that's like. Triple comma. And now we have current medications. So this is a dynamic smart auto text and will pull in all the most recent results. Let's talk about a different dynamic auto text and let's give this example as number three. And this one will be a data text age. So this is a data token. So this is similar to a smart template in that it pulls in the data. However, this data token does not change. For example, we don't expect the patient's age to change, although if it does during this hospital admission, it will update this too. So let's put an age of the patient, and you can see there's a data token here. This patient is going to be 76 years old. We'll insert it, and so now we'll save that. And now we can see on this menu we have a triple comma, 03 age. Let's see what that does. Triple comma age, click on that, and it's 76 years old. Okay, let's show you the last auto text magic. So we're going to show you a drop list. Triple comma, 04. We're going to create a physical examination. We're going to call this physical. So let's title this physical exam. We're going to see general create drop list. So here it asks us to organize and the first item on this drop list menu will be our default BSS. So now we can add new items, hypotensive, hypertensive, and now we hit create. So let's do another drop down list, a febrile. And then we'll add it to a list item, febrile, hypothermic. And now we could create this one. So let's save this and see what that does. We're going to have a triple comma, 04, physical examination, close out. And now when we do our triple comma, It'll bring us this list. We'll do our physical examination. BSS, we want hypotensive and hypothermic. So just as easy as that. It takes a little time to do the first time around, but once you've got it done, it'll save you a lot of time when you're doing your physical exam or anything else that you might have drop-down lists for. All right, guys, hopefully you learned something here.